Hi, my name is Tom Fowler, and today we will be discussing the TSIS GV family of IEC style manual starters and protectors. The GV product family is a bit unique for North America in that it is, does not meet the requirements to be called a circuit breaker, but then again it can be used in a group motor application or as a manual starter. So in addition to today's presentation, we have a special presentation on group motor installations that was put together by Thomas Chrysler to explain this unique application for GV manual starters and protectors. First, let's take a look at the GV itself. We have several different frame sizes of GV products and the first one we will discuss is the GV2. This is a product that provides manual isolation, in other words, you hit an on-off button. It's got motor control built into it in the form of an overload relay, but it also has overcurrent protection built into it. And that's what makes this product a little bit unique in the North American marketplace. But it's very compact in size. The GB2 product family goes from a tenth of an amp up to 32 amps. So you can use this on a wide variety of motor control applications. Another product variation in the GV2 product family is the GV2P. The GV2P is a high performance product that has a very high short circuit current rating, but it can also be UL508 type E listed as a self-protected manual combination starter. This means the product can be used in a standalone application or, like the GV2ME, it can also be applied in a group motor installation as well. All these products are UL listed for the group motor installations and they can be used as a manual starter, but they're most commonly associated with a TSIS D IEC style contactor and applied in the group motor installation which is in accordance with National Electric Code Article 430 Section 53. Okay, now here we have the GV2 ME associated with the contactor in this case it's the TSIS D and this product is in full compliance with North American standards the international standards such as the CE mark and also the CCC mark for the Chinese marketplace. All the products are IP20 or finger safe just like the contactors so no exposed current carrying parts here. The overload protection provided with the GV2 product is a class 10 ambient compensated bimetallic overload relay. So it gives you the same degree and reliable protection that you come to expect with our LRD overloads. So same type of design, but it's all incorporated into one device, and that would be the GV2. It also provides single phase sensitivity, so if you have a phase loss condition or a phase unbalance condition, the overload relay will trip the product to save and protect the motor load. But it also has a magnetic instantaneous trip feature built into it as well, so that if you have a higher overcurrent uh, condition, the GV2 will also trip under those conditions. So it's designed for motor loads up to 32 amps. It's very compact in size in terms of it takes a 45 millimeter width, the same width as the IEC style contactor. Horsepower ratings go up to 30 horsepower at 575 volts. So a wide variety of industrial applications in a very compact package here. And the short circuit current ratings, most of all, range from 10 kA up to 100 kA, depending on the size of the GV product. Let's take a look at the next size of GV product. We're going to look at the GV3. The GV3 is a very high performance product. It carries a 65 kA short circuit current rating and it's available for motor full load currents from 9 amps up to 65 amps in, in current rating. 
It's UL listed also for use in group motor installations in accordance with the National Electric Code Article 430, Section 53, just like the smaller GV2 product. But this product is also available as a standalone product as a self-protected manual combination starter, just like the smaller GV2P. All you have to do is add a line side spacer to the product to make it suitable for standalone use without any additional short circuit protection ahead of the product. The GV3P is a high performance product. It carries that self-protective rating that allows you to use it as a standalone or together with a contactor in a group motor installation. So it's a very compact package for motor applications up to 65 amps and that's roughly up to 50 horsepower at 480 volts. So remember, it provides manual isolation. You've got a rotating knob on the front to turn it on and off. Okay, you also have thermal overload protection built in and an instantaneous trip unit to provide overcurrent protection. And it meets all international standards for North America, the international market, and even the Asian market with the CCC mark. The GV3 holds up in a wide variety of applications for motor protection circuits up to 65 amps. Let's take a closer look at some of the features of the GV3. It's a three-pole design, covers horsepower ratings up to 50 horsepower at 575. It's designed for motor applications from 9 amps up to 65 amps. And it's in a 55 millimeter width. So very standard design. It's the same width dimension as the TSIS D IEC contactors. So the contactors and the GV3 products mount in the same vertical arrangement. However, they can also be mounted side by side if so desired. Everything mounts on a dim rail. The overload relay is also a class 10 ambient compensated overload relay that has built-in single phase sensitivity or phase unbalance protection. It's also finger safe, so no exposed current carrying parts, and it meets that IP20 standard. We also have common accessories, so things like auxiliary contacts, alarm contacts, shunt trips are common between the smaller GV2 family and the larger GV3 products. And we have this unique Z-bar jumper, jumper bus that allows you to horizontally mount the contactor adjacent to the contactor or GV device in a horizontal arrangement as opposed to a vertical arrangement. So the choice is yours. Lots of flexibility and all the features that you have with the smaller GV2 product family except it's in a larger frame size. And we have an exclusive the GV3 products and the corresponding TSIS D contactors all feature our Everlink lug connection kits. These are power lug kits that stay tight even after stranded wire migrates around inside the terminal. So a very tight, very secure connection is guaranteed with the Everlink lug connection system. Now let's move on to the next largest frame size of GV, and that would be our GV7 product. The GV7, just like the smaller GV2 and GV3, is listed as a manual motor controller. It can also be used in a group motor installation, but the current ratings here actually go up to 220 amps. So you're really looking at larger sized motors when you get into that current range. So group motor listing, standalone manual motor controller are all typical applications for the GV7, just as we have with the smaller products. And they meet all global standards, whether it be UL, CSA, CE for the international market, and CCC for the Asian market or Chinese marketplaces. We have two variations of the GV7. It's the GV7RE, which is a standard interruption rating, or we have a high performance, high short circuit current rated 
GV7RS version of the product that is also available today. So a wide variety of choices here. If you look at the GV family from a tenth of an amp up to 220 amps with the GV7. We, the GV7 also has a thermal overload relay built into it. It happens to be a solid state overload relay, so it has a very wide adjustment range, just like the other solid state overload relays that we have with the LR9D as also the LR9F. We also have through the door rotary operators available as accessories for the GV7, in addition to auxiliary contacts, shunt trips, and alarm contacts can all be field added to a GV7. The magnetic setting for overcurrent protection is fixed at 13 times the motor full load amp rating and it is rated up to 600 volts. So you have a wide variety of adjustment ranges here for a thermal current range from 12 amps up to 220 amps all with solid state overload protection in the GV7 product family. It is also IP20 finger safe just as we have with the smaller GV products. The overload relay is also a class 10 but the big difference here the GV7 has a solid state overload in, in comparison to the smaller GVs which have a bimetal overload. They all provide single phase sensitivity. Let's take a look at some of the product application photos for the GV family. Here we have the GV2ME associated with the TESIS DIEC style contactor. We also have the GV3P that has the line side spacer for standalone use attached to it, as well as an auxiliary contact block. Now, what are some of the applications for these products? Well, typically the most common application is going to be in a group motor installation or in an industrial control panel. They're going to be for applications such as pumping, material handling, but they're most commonly associated with a contactor at the same time. So typically when you sell the GV, any part of the GV family, it's going to be associated with a TSIS D contactor. So think of industrial applications, infrastructure applications, all are typical applications where we use GV products today. And remember, they're all UL CSA listed and also meet the North American group motor installation requirements. In addition to having international markings such as the CE mark as well as the CCC mark. All these products are easily installed in any control panel and they're a great way to save space uh, in the control panel by utilizing the group motor installation rules. Thank you for listening and watching this today's presentation on the GV product family. For additional presentation, especially regarding the application of a GV, we have additional presentations that cover group motor installations and the National Electric Code. Thanks again for joining us at Schneider Electric.